Michael Polk here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do some basic editing in iMovie. That's right. So here, what we're looking at is the very video that I'm currently editing, including the introduction you just saw. But also, let's just say I wanted to edit this amazing trailer. First things first, when you put in, when you drag in footage into your um, timeline, this is your timeline, uh, just grab your video from whatever source you're getting it from. So for example, this one here, just drag the video into your timeline like that. Just drop it in uh, and then you'll have your videos sitting there. They will all line up. Now over here, you've got this thing where you can change um, the zoomed in level of your video. So if you want to do some very fine editing, you just drag that out. So let's just trim out that little introduction there. How do we do that? Well, we move the, the line there to where we want to trim it. We can do two things. We can right click and go split clip. Or if I command Z to undo, I can go command B. And that does exactly the same thing. And then see how it highlights that video, that part of the video. I can just delete that with the delete key on the keyboard. Let's just say I want to edit out some of the um, the writing parts and just trim it down a bit. Let's see what we can do there. Bring that there. Right, right click, split clip or command B. Go to the next one. Let's just trim that about there. Split clip and delete. Easy as that. Let's see how that plays. Turn the volume up. You can change the volume levels of each clip. So see when you put the cursor down here, you can adjust the volumes there like that. You can detach the audio if you want to. You can right click and go detach audio. What I could do actually is I could show speed editor and I could slow that clip right down. I can just drag that out and make it go in slow motion. So. So by detaching the audio here, the audio won't change its speed, but the visual um, is now in slow motion, as you can see by that little tortoise. And you can go the other way as well. You can speed things up. Um, now, when you speed things up, let me put that audio back in. I'll have to go back a little bit. There we go. So the audio is back in. Let's just say I want to speed up that part of the clip. I just need to click on that and drag it closer. That speeds things up. The problem is the audio is also going to be faster. So what I need to do with that is go up to here into the speed button and I need to click on preserve pitch. And what that does is it keeps the audio the same. It doesn't make it go squeaky like a chipmunk. It just keeps it the same. While we're here, you can also change the speed from here. You don't have to rely on this speed editor but you can be more precise with your percentages or with going fast or slow and then selecting how fast. You can also do things in iMovie such as um, here under this thing called the color correction you can change you can correct the color of the clip Let's just say you want to make it darker you can play around with saturation make it black and white that looks pretty cool you can play around with the temperature of the film so more yellow makes makes it look warmer bluer makes it look cooler so that looks interesting a very different looking trailer already um, let's just say we want to crop in on her jump right click split clip and again there split clip and what are we doing oh yeah that's right cropping it Make sure you click in the area, crop, bring it down to there, something like that. Not bad. So what you can do up here, you've got transitions. You can add a whole range of transitions. Don't go over bo overboard with transitions. It's tempting to, but you don't need to. Check in a transition, that's a one second transition. But you can play around with the duration of these transitions as well. You can also uh, do a thing called Ken Burns with cropping. So let's just say in this shot here, you want to zoom in. Not just crop in, but you want to zoom in. Let's trim that up. Where is it? This bit here. 
and let's do a Ken Burns which means basically I will drag the start bit back to the original point the zoom is going to end wherever I want it to be zoom right in if I want to it might look a bit weird but let's see what happens so see that it looks a bit weird but it's zooming in that's, that's good fun you can do all sorts of things with that okay with this section let's do something like um, up here we've got clip filters so we can do a whole bunch of th bunch of things here let's go let's just go that one all right that'll do also you've got audio effect you can change the sound of the clip you can add in new audio so when you click on the audio button you've got a whole heap of things in the audio library so you've got sound effects jingles is good if you're looking for a cringy little tune so for example we can drag the catwalk medium tune in there and that's going to play with the existing soundtrack so let's take out the audio here and I can trim that audio as well just by right clicking and going split clip you can do that with audio let's get rid of the rest of the song and you can do this little thing here where you can make the music fade in and out as well look at that let's split that there and let's drag that on top of this footage we've got this option here we've got cutaway green screen blue screen I've got a whole video on that we can split the screen so you can share the footage in um, two halves like that or you can have picture in picture let's just go with that one you can add titles to your film we can add text anywhere in your film actually so let's go into titles we've got all these fun titles to play with let's just drag one at the start you can actually put titles over the top of existing parts of footage or you can drag it and make it its own section under backgrounds you can add in one of these fancy backgrounds or you can just add in any image off the internet or any photograph that you've taken you can add in you don't have to rely on these but I'm just going to drag in one of those you can add in your own voice recorder right there so when you click on that you might want to record some of your own narration let's click on that start recording and give you a count in oh yeah and as you can see it's there's the recording that I've made I can pitch that volume up or down whatever I need to do oh, yeah. that's um, a basic look around some of the main things you can do in iMovie there are heaps of things you can do um, creativity is everything okay so without further ado let's just watch the trailer with all of my silly changes as well and uh, thanks for watching the video um, and we'll see you in the next one bye for now we've passed on all we know a thousand generations live in you now but this is your fight
and just to finish this video off I'm just going to show you what the final product pretty much looks like lots of edits lots of changes heaps of things being chopped out all the dodgy bits of ums and ahs are gone this was about a 17 minute video chopped it down to about 10 and that's that okay again thanks for watching bye bye